This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody, it's Alex Bennett, and it is the Ramble, and uh, we have uh, stuff to do tonight. Uh, we're not doing a TV thing, although I'm going to try and fix that in the next half hour or so because uh, uh, Facebook's been having problems. Facebook always has problems. Anyway, so uh, we've got a guest tonight, and uh, uh, he's got problems, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll listen to them. Listen here. Okay, now, we always do this once a week whenever we can. We don't call the person first and start the interview. We let him answer. Let's see here. There we go. There we go. Come on, pick up. Jax, hello. Oh, you didn't say anything funny today? I said this day sucks. Hello. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think we only got. I think we only got sucks. Sucks. Okay. Oh, yeah. This day sucks. I'll say it for the whole half hour. This day sucks. Now why does? I'll it... say it like Kirk Douglas. This day sucks. <laughs> why? I'll say it like Burke, like I said. This day sucks. I've got two. I went to forty-two teeth in my mouth. But I don't care. This day sucks. <laughs> More impressions of people nobody's heard about in this century. Yeah, yeah. I mean, why does this day suck, Stephen Pearl? Oh, see how wait, I, no, see how I no, introduced this, no, you? Something, something just fell apart in the other room. What happened here? <laughs> oh, the refrigerator. What happened? The refrigerator for Oh, man. This day's like this day's like with a cracked mirror under a ladder on a, the 13th Friday or something. Well, let's see. Last week, I had a cyst removed from my jawline. That was okay, except the stitches opened up again. So I had to spend Friday night in the emergency room for four hours while they fixed me up again. Then a cap fell out of my mouth today. Oh, great, I'm missing a cap. So I had to go to the dentist, and they said, well, fill out this paperwork. Your paperwork's not in order. So I had to go to the bank and get my bank statements, and I had to get more papers. Then I had to go back to the dentist. They said, well, wait, 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 slow down, slow down, slow down. Why did you have to go uh, uh, to the bank? I had to, they wanted, uh, the, uh, I'm on a special dental program here. They do it for like next to nothing, but they need paperwork. So oh, I like that. They need pa- I like that uh, a lot. Oh, I say they need paperwork to, pu- uh, to prove you're poor. To prove I'm poor. Hey, I can do that. <laughs> uh, I'm a magician. I make money disappear. It yeah. comes, it goes. It, it goes more than it comes, but uh, it's more fun when it comes. So anyway, so anyway I had to go to the, yeah. What, what, yeah what, so what? you had to go down to the I, bank to get. I had to go to the bank, so I did that. Then I go back to the dentist. They were very nice, but they just said, uh, well, you know, you can wait here all day today, or you can come in at one thirty tomorrow, and we'll glue you back. So I said, I'll come at one thirty tomorrow. So all day today, I got, uh, I got, I'm scar faced with Alfred e. Newman's smile, but tomorrow I'll be beautiful. <laughs> So, I'll be gorgeous. So you go call me the Scarface Kid, though. Say, I'm going to be talking like this now. Yeah, even though Edward G. Robinson never played a guy with a scar, but I can't do Paul Muni. Yeah, yeah but, but, even doing my way. See, what what was the deal with the uh, with the uh, uh, you know with, <laughs> with, piece by piece? We, I'm falling apart. I'm like Ratso Rizzo on the bus to Miami. <laughs> yeah. No, but, but you said that there was a uh, uh, you had a, a, a problem last week. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah. So what was that problem? There was I had a cyst on my jawline that was just annoying. So they, they said, in, well, we'll take in, it out. Inside so or I out? Said, okay. Inside or outside? It was I, it, it was underneath. It was like an iceberg. It was a little bit on the front. You, you, a little, you could see a little bit, but it felt like a big fuzzy marble had a baby with a zit, and it planted itself in my mug. And you want to squeeze it with pliers, but you can't because it'll just get bigger. So and I'm, you go crazy. And you want to kill people. So and uh, But you come down from that. You smoke a bowl, and you're okay. And uh, so they, I've had that for a while. Like they would give me antibiotics. It would go away. Then it would come back. Then they give me more antibiotics. It would go away. And this time it came back. It didn't want to go away. So I said, fuck it. We'll cut it. So they cut it. And the man took out like a little white rubber ball and something that looked like a little Cheerio and something else that looked like a piece of coral. And sewed me back up, and then uh, it seemed to be going okay. But then the stitches opened a couple of days later. So oh, I'm geez. all night in the emergency room Friday getting uh, that taken care of. Oh, boy. So, uh, oh, isn't that? 
Now, it could be worse. Nobody's told me I'm going blind or I have a terminal disease. I'm not in Afghanistan, even though I was two days ago because it was 115 fucking degrees here, but that's another story. But sometimes just things go wrong piece by piece, and you just want to strangle a kitten, <laughs> but you don't. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well... So it's just, it's just like one piece of shit after another, but I'm, I'm dealing with it. I just, I'm not dealing I just with got, it well, I just but I'm got, dealing with it. I just got through talking to my uh, my ex-wife, uh, Ronnie, who has pancreatic cancer, but that sounds minor by comparison to you. <laughs> Come to think of it, maybe it isn't so. Life's so funny. To, well, at least with pancreatic cancer, you know what's going to happen, and you hope it's going to be quick. Nope. Then you don't have to worry about teeth falling out and shit being cut and stitches opening oh, up. No, 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 Oh, that unlucky bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was operable. So, so well, God bless her. And, and all, but humorously, folks, no, it's, it's good that it's operable because that's, that's the worst kind, man. That's, the, that's what killed Michael Landon. He announced it in July. He announced it uh, in, in April, and he was dead by July. Yep, yep. So you gotta be, that's, yep. That, that's the and quickest he, kind. He, all, so. on the other hand, was young. When he, he was he was 53, of course, at the time. I thought, well, he's getting up there. He's 53, of course, when John Lennon was shot, I was 25. Well, 40, that's kind of old. Well, no, it isn't. So. Well, on the other it, it hand, just depends on where you're looking from it from. On the other hand, Steve Jobs had pancreatic cancer and lived with it for seven years. That's, oh, my God. I didn't know that. He's my age, too. So, uh-oh. Well, <laughs> another, another day of me being well, lucky. He could afford the best medicine money could buy. Well, he could afford to pay someone to get cancer for him, but that didn't even help. Yeah, that didn't even help. Uh, hey, he's... Here's, here's a billion dollars. You want to get sick for me? Yeah, sure. I could use the money. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! I didn't think of the other part. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so uh, it, 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 you know, it, it, you have to prove now that you're poor so you can get decent metal, uh, dental care, right? Unless you want to pay fifteen hundred dollars for glue that's going to come off again anyway. But this place is—they've uh, been usually good to me, and they're either they're either free or very very low. So. I will go, and it's three blocks from my house. So now, I, will, they, they, I will continue my services there as long as I have one ivory in my head. Are they free or, and low price to everybody or uh, who can show poverty? Uh, or are they uh, are they also a regular dentistry that will charge you? <laughs> I, oh, no, you have to know the mayor. <laughs> you have to be friends with people at Tammany Hall to get where I am. Yeah. Uh, you know, you got to do the paperwork and this and that, and then show them what's going on. And all yeah, but I mean, are, are they that. are they a dental practice that deals in people who don't have money, or are uh, they, I, do they well, have a regular dental I, practice where they charge the crap out of everybody? <laughs> well, I've seen very few Rolls Royces parked there, so uh, a lot of Uber stickers. So uh, I have a feeling. Well, for me, it's like next to nothing. So I know that I, everyone there looks pretty broke. So uh, that's I prefer taking my. Uh, very expensive <laughs> dental business to one of those places. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, it, 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 dentistry has become incredibly expensive. Oh, it's uh, insane! When it's I insane. was when yeah, I was a ki- I see I see when I was a kid. Now we're talking sixty years ago, right? But I remember, yeah. you know, uh, uh, to get a filling done or do, to get a tooth done or something was like fifteen bucks. I mean, dentists were pretty cheap compared to any other kind oh, sure. of medicine. Uh, sure. Uh, even cheaper were veterinarians, okay? But you didn't want to go to a oh, vet yeah. to fix your teeth. But the veterinarians sure. were really cheap, and now both those professions are just incredibly high-priced. You know? Oh, yeah. We had to take care of one of our cats, and that was uh, they vacuumed my wallet pretty good for that one. <laughs> so I go, wow, in the, in the 60s, this would have been $5 and a pat on the ass. Like, look at it now. So. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it, that's it, the way that the way of the world, man. Wow. It sucks, but yeah, you have a temper tantrum, you throw things, and you get on with your day. Yeah, well, I don't know. It's just, it's amazing. <laughs> just waiting. What'll what'll fall apart on me next? Well, will I, it be a I, small I, part. I, will I, it be a will it be the bumper, or will the transmission fall out? I went into deep dark depression. Okay, last week, and it all had to do with cable companies. Okay, uh, getting out of one cable company and getting into another. And quitting uh, one because they couldn't do, they couldn't fix something. I mean, they were just driving me fuckers. fucking nuts. 
And, oh, sure. And, and again, I was talking. <laughs> I was talking to my ex-wife, and I said to her, uh, uh, "I said, you know something? I don't want to minimize your situation, but I honestly think cable companies are worse than pancreatic cancer." <laughs> you know, yeah, they can be. They can be. It's like one head trading one headache for another. I mean, what gets me today, and, and I tell me if I'm sounding like an old guy when I say this, okay? <laughs> but nobody knows how to do their job anymore. Or if oh, they know, not. if they know how to do the job, they are told how to do it by pushing this button and then pushing that button. But you're, there are no individual initiatives that have that can be no. created. Like I signed on to FiOS, and then I decided I wanted to upgrade my. Uh, upgrade my my service and uh to a to something else after just getting it and uh they said uh, okay well it's going to cost a hundred dollars for you to have a, uh-huh. a repairman come out and do that for you and i preferred that a repairman you know that an installer came out and did it than the me do it okay yeah at least at this point in my life and i said well a hundred dollars a bit steep but uh, go ahead. And she says, okay. And then look at the bill. This is what your bill will be. And I look, well, why is it $33 and not $100? And she says, oh, well, it's, 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 it's that because, this was their big because, uh, <laughs> because it, it, uh, um, it, we cut it up into three payments. And I said, wait a minute. You oh, cut, okay. You cut it up into three payments? I said, why do you do that? Well, so it isn't uh, the whole $100. And I said, well, I would rather pay for all of it now. Yeah, get over it. And the woman went to the computer and said, wait a moment. Says, I, I'm not allowed to do that. Now, where have you ever heard that you can't give them all your money at once? <laughs> you know? Hey, here's the hundred dollars. In fact, usually if you pay in advance, they give you a ten buck break or something exactly. like that, right? No, here it's no. installment one of three. What? What? You don't want me to think that you're charging me a hundred dollars? <laughs> you you want to make this oh, the, the 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 death by a thousand cuts? What? <laughs> You know, so oh I, it's I, that kind of thing where I couldn't get her. I couldn't say to her, "I just want. I want to pay the whole thing now. I don't want to wait till three months oh, down the we're line." We're sorry, but that would be way too convenient. We'd rather screw you. It's like that scene in Five Easy Pieces. What do you mean I can't have the chicken on a roll? Yeah, you know, it's oh my god. <laughs> I just want it. Yeah, this is simple. Can we do it this way? Oh, I'm sorry, but that would be too easy. We have to fuck I, you up. I would ask something, and I would ask something I might want or need, and she. She would go, uh, let me talk to my supervisor. Hold, please. You know, and then I'd hold for about five minutes. I don't know what she was doing. She's probably jerking off to porno or something. And then she comes back and she goes, yes. <laughs> you know, I mean, there's no initiative anymore. There's nobody no. that is, in the old days when you would call, say, oh, a good example would be um, a tech support at a computer company. Uh-huh. You would get some nerd whose mother, he was still living in his mother's basement, who only lived <laughs> who only lived for computers, and he fixed your goddamn problem over oh, the Oh, yeah, phone. he knew what he was doing. The only yeah. thing he was good at, yeah. he was damn good at it. Now you get uh, uh, Ahmed in some far-flung country <laughs> who can't, uh, can barely speak English, right, who is now trying to solve your problem utilizing the book he has in front of him. Yeah, you know, yeah. And, and, and you go, oh, this, this anyone is, who has to call AOL help may God have mercy on your soul. I'd rather go through brain surgery without any oh, edits. Well, wait a, minute, oh, wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, Call, call. Have you AOL? Did you say? Yes. <laughs> when's the last ooh, time you tried? Ooh. When's the last time you tried to call AOL? I've done it, but years ago. But okay. it's like it's like opening the portal I, to here, hell. Here's my you cha- know you're going to be on forever, and it's not going to go anywhere. I, and you're going to you just. I have a challenge. An, an hour you. you'll never get back. I, I have not seen AOL's website. I don't have any idea what goes on over there. Because AOL is like... <laughs> I don't AOL know what they is, do. I don't know what they live on. Is, is an, it's like, do you also belong to Friendster? I mean, it's like to really old. <laughs> okay. But if you try... I, I, I'll give you the challenge. In the next a couple of weeks until we talk next, try and get a phone number for AOL. Oh, God. 
I have one here, and it's just like it was an. I don't know if it's. I, I haven't called them in years. I don't even know if it's good I anymore. I don't but, think. Uh, I don't think. In fact, let me uh, let me just uh, uh, bring up AOL here. Uh, I, Hello, you've reached AOL. I, yeah. My name is Skippy. I'm in Bombay. We don't give a it, shit. It, don't leave a message. We're not listening. Beep. Let's see. I go down to the bottom where they have all this stuff. My account downloads about us. Join AOL, but there's nothing that says anything here about a phone number. <laughs> now, that is not unusual. Okay, that is not unusual. That is par for the fucking course. Try oh, and yeah. find a phone number for Facebook. Try and find a phone number oh, for, for yeah. Skype. Okay, try and find a phone number for Mi well, Microsoft you can call. Yeah, if you've got one uh -huh. of their products. But they won't deal with you on Skype. All I know is that there are so many of these different organizations that you just can't get a hold of by phone. Oh, you can't. It's impossible. you gotta, you got to send them a telegram or you got to go there, wherever the hell they are. And dealing with Fios, which is a Verizon, uh, every time I call, I get some foreign country somewhere. I'm not, it's <laughs> not here. And yeah. when, when this it's fucking asshole family. Trump is talking about bringing jobs back to America, why don't you start with, uh, like, uh, you know, the, the people who answer your phone when you, when, when you call them? I mean, come on. <laughs> How much is it going to cost a multi-billion dollar industry like Verizon to have operators standing by in the United States to help you with your every need? Yep. See, I got into this yesterday with a, with a guy who uh, came out to figure out why I wasn't with the new service getting some things on my, on my computer. I could explain it to you, but it's too much to explain. And he was a technical whiz. He spent three hours here trying to solve the problem, and ultimately he did. And I said, uh -huh. I tried to tip him. He wouldn't take the money. And then he said, uh, uh, so, um, uh, you know, he, I said, you really do a great job. He says, well, I try to. He said... You know, we're in a business now where nobody does, you know. And he said, yep. I'm, I'm here to make your life better, you know. And, yeah. And, and people just don't have that attitude anymore. No, that's, that's pretty stinky. He's, like, he's the last one. Yeah, yeah. So Hang on to that person because you won't see another like him ever again. Yeah, I've got the, I've got, as I say, I've got the AOL page here, and I challenge you to find a phone number for AOL. <laughs> I, I have one in my listings, but I haven't called it in years, so I don't know what you get now. Play a whorehouse. Here, here's, so here's a little thing that looks like a phone number. What does that say? Or what does that mean? Get the most from AOL on the go. Oh, <laughs> 1-800-GO-FUCK-YOURSELF. Yeah, that's how to, how to get it on your phone. Yeah, oh, God, I, I, does anyone even send emails anymore? It's just, you know, it's just like everything is Facebook or Messenger or singing well, Telegram I, or something I, else. I, I had some problems with, uh, with, uh, um, uh, with uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, with uh, Skype, and I couldn't get a hold of them, so I wrote them. I never got an answer, right? You know, I mean, it's, it's impossible. Uh, and there are certain things you don't want to have break down because you're never going to get them fixed. Yeah. So that's today's way of doing business. They don't want yeah. you to talk to them. They don't want to give you a phone number nope. where you could call up and complain. Nope. Nope. No more information. Yeah, they want to live in complete denial that they're doing just a wonderful job. <laughs> yep. Something goes wrong, you're fucked. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. Just amazing. Yep. So, it's just amazing, this world we live in. I don't know. I wouldn't give a rat tail for it if you had So me. Last, nah. last week, I went into a deep, dark depression over all of this because these people were just fucking with me, fucking with me, fucking with me, and fucking with me. And by the way, did yep. I mention they were fucking with me? Oh, I did that. I heard they were fucking with you, too. And I went into a deep, dark depression. I mean, I, I was almost, almost suicidal. I'm serious about this because it was just so maddening. You know, I... I my cable company, I'd change services to get a slightly cheaper service because I'd been on a very expensive one that gave me a whole house DVR system, uh -huh. okay, which this new company that took it over doesn't have. And I said, when I, if I go to this system of yours, if I sign over to your company, will you guarantee me that I will be able to get all my sets in, in, the, in the house will be able to see the DVRs, right? And they said, absolutely. 
That will that will yeah. not change because you're grandfathered into that. We don't do that now. Yeah. We don't have a setup for that, but the old system does, and we have the codes and blah, blah, blah. And good, okay, I'll do it. I'll, because it was going to save me like, you know, 50, 60 bucks a month. Right. And uh, the next day, I turn on my TV set, and I can't see the other DVRs. Uh, and I call them up. And now this is a literally a process. Well, first of all, the day before, the process of just simply switching over took an hour. Then it took another hour when it turned on that some of my TV sets weren't turned on. And then now I'm spending like another four hours with these people. And them saying, oh, uh, we I just called the engineering dep- department. They're working on it. They should get it on any moment. I call back an hour later. I get somebody else. No, I see here. They Okay, well, let me just push a button here. You should have it in ten minutes. <laughs> Oh, and I, I, I oh, hang up. If it was me, I would have killed and them and then not, killed myself. By this time. I must have made four calls with different people oh, saying God. different things were happening. Oh, one will drive you crazy. Finally, four. I just said, oh. fuck you guys. I'm going to Fios. <laughs> so I call up Fios, and it's amazing how fast you can make an order, you know. Uh, and and I made it so Fios was going to come in. So then they came in. They installed the new stuff. And then uh-huh. I, then I um, call up Spectrum. And why are you leaving us? And I told her the story, and she says, "Well, it says here on your file that you, it, your 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 whole house DVR went on." I said, "Yeah." About five days later, she says, "Oh, well, it had to be escalated upstairs." I said, "Nobody told me that. If you had told me that, I wouldn't have quit you guys." Oh God! <laughs> you know, so this is the kind of insanity that we get today when every time you call, you get a different person. You can't say, hey, can I talk to Bob? I was talking to him before. Oh, yeah. Operator number 17A. Oh, we don't know who that is. Yeah. It's insane. I once had to turn my cable off for some mistake. And I, I said, hey, my cable's off. The bill's paid. Said, oh, well, uh, man, that was a mistake there. It'll take a week to get it back on. What do you mean a week? It took you two seconds to turn it off. Turn it back on. And I had to yell and scream and go there and cry and paint the walls and plaid and all that stuff. Finally, they 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 did it. But holy shit, was that a stressful day? Jesus Christ! And it wasn't even my fault. Well, you know, that all goes back to my three payments of thirty three dollars each. You know, thirty three dollars, thirty three and, and thirty four cents or something. Yeah, I think it's thirty four cents to the last month when it's like thirty two or something. I know it evens out to a hundred dollars. But I just, uh, yeah. It, it, Fuck you, you know? <laughs> I know the feeling, but you don't know what to do. You want to go out there and, well, I don't know. You don't want to kill yourself. Just kill a telemarketer. So, n- so now I have fiber in my house, so I can tell everybody I'm getting enough fiber. <laughs> fiber is good. Yeah, I snort Metamucil every morning right off the mirror. But I've, I've got fiber, and uh, uh, i got a fast pipe, as they say. But my, pipe, my pipe always <laughs> was fast. And, um, uh, you know, whatever. But, um, oy vey. Oy vey is right. Oy it's just, I, I guess, I guess I'm just old and I'm pining for the days when things were simpler. There was no internet. We all do. I bet even in the 1400s they were doing that. Oh, I hate that. I wish it was 1403. I can't handle it being 14. I grew up in an, so an age when, when you had to find out a certain fact, you went to the library. Yep, you went to the World Book Encyclopedia, yeah. Britannica. And if your parents really loved you, they would buy the World Book Encyclopedia, and you would have it there in your house. Yep. And that was your that was your that was your research stuff, you know. Yep. But uh, now today, it's all on the internet, and all there, all the known information in the world is on that screen. And, and there's really no service. There's just no service. It's terrible. No. It's horrible. No. So you know. What, what can the service I is working. The world is yours. If the service is out, you're fucked with a capital PH. Yeah, but at least your dentist would see you. <laughs> I, I, well, I thought I was going to wait there all day, which put me in a worse mood. And they said, "Look, just look like Alfred E. Newman today, and tomorrow we'll see it." I go, "Okay, I'm not going to be seen by anyone today." So uh, well, yeah, you're making what the hell? Have the point with it. in the old days when I was a boy, and you wanted an appointment with your doctor. What? When can you get over here? Right. Yep. Now it's... The dentist will come to your house. He'd bring the lamp and the shiny thing and the yeah, drill and right, everything. Right. And now uh, it's not anywhere near that, you know. 
Oh, it's God, not, no. The modern age. Yeah. I don't like it. Yeah. We all hate it. So. We back the days of UHF. <laughs> so anyway, listen, I just noticed we're running out of time here. Uh, Boy, time goes it, quick when you're crashing, I'll tell you that. Yet another day, another uh, uh, 25 minutes has flown by like it was nothing, and it's just two old like men gri- griping about uh, about the way life is today. Oh, well, hey, I'll drop something heavy on my foot. We'll do another hour. Ah! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the lovely and attractive Stephen Pearl. Thank you. I'll be attractive tomorrow. Today I look like a hillbilly. This is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. And hello, everybody. How are you? Yes, yes, you can see us on Facebook Live now. It, I got to tell you, it was such a mess, such a mess to do, deal with tonight. Uh, I, you know, I would have to explain the way we get this whole show on the air in order to explain it uh, fully. But basically, um, <clears throat> the normal way is we go to this thing and it tells us to put in a key number and then you put the key number in and then it starts sending the signal and then when you want to go live, you say go live. All right? Tonight, it wouldn't give me that key number. So I found somewhere else to get the key number. I, I, I was very proud of myself. I, I found a workaround and I found this thing that I could go to and uh, um, I, it was like uh, another fa- my Facebook Live page, and, and, and the Gabnet Live page. So I went to the Gab- I went to that and went go live, and it gave me the form and the keys and all of that. And I put that in, and then I I started transmitting. And for some odd and unusual reason, uh, I couldn't get a picture on 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 our Facebook page. And the reason was that I was doing this on the face, the GabNet Live page. Are you following this on the GabNet Live page? And, uh, uh, well, uh, uh, push comes to shove, or shove comes to push, or whatever. And um, I found that it was, it was broadcasting live on GabNet Live. So then I just took that picture and said, share it on this page. So now when you go to Facebook Live, you can see it. But you know, if you don't get us uh, at any time, uh, there's always ways you can you can uh, uh, see us. Uh, you can, well, to begin with, you can always hear us at GabNet Live. Uh, you can always at GabNet.net. You can always hear us at GabNet.net. Okay, so that's that's one thing you can do. Okay, here I'm trying to get my picture a little better here. There we go. And uh, let me see here, get a little focus. Uh, I don't like to have the thing focus, and then I go apply, and then I go okay, and then I go okay, and then we're, we're doing just fine, okay? So, just had to get, oh, and then I have to do something. If I don't do this, girlfriend will kill me. <laughs> you ready for that? There's this little clicker thing, and uh, we have it hooked up, and I can, uh, I can, I can do it. Okay, so see, I can turn it off, and I can turn it on. Turn it off, turn it on. Okay. Well, we've got Skype on, and uh, I think we're 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 ready to roll. Uh, I'm hoping it's working right tomorrow night because uh, uh, we have a very special guest, my ex-wife, number two. And I did the interview today, and it was just wonderful. We recorded it on Skype, and unfortunately, there was some kind of delay. I mean, seven seconds between when she started. But I left the video of her on because she she looks so great when she talks. And uh, we did really what is just a wonderful interview. And you can see that interview tomorrow night right here. Uh, uh, and it's with my uh, my first wife, Ronnie. So I thought we would do that for you. Okay. Anyway, listen, our, our, our lines are open. I am, I, oh, there we go. Here, well, Mike is the first one to call. Uh, that's not unusual. Hello, Mike. How are you this evening? Good, good. Yeah, yeah. okay, let me, uh, uh, unfortunately, everybody's going to have to see a full screen because there's nobody else here. Okay, here we go. There we go. And uh, uh, you, you never pay attention to how you look in your camera, do you? I, I just got home doing some stuff, so I never got a chance to. 
Yeah. yeah. Freak myself up or anything. Yeah. It sound, it's, you see, see, you're, you're, um, you're, boy, you're running. This is amazing. I don't know what it is, but something is causing me to use up a lot of CPU power here. And um, I think it's causing people to be uh, delayed uh, in, in their audio. Uh, but anyway, here comes Phil. Let's see if he's delayed. Uh, hello, hey. Phil. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. <laughs> oh, no, you're, you're, talk to me. Talk, talk yeah, to me. I'm, I'm fine. I was just making like I was delayed. Yeah. The way they do on those Japanese movies when they, uh, uh, you know, subtitle, not subtitle them, but right. uh, they, they track over them. Right. right. Voice right. track them. Right. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. How about yourself? I, I've been listening to your, uh, to your trials and tribulations. Well, I had, a, I, I, it took a lot to get the show on the air tonight. Yeah, you know, that's what you said. I mean, the Keep video, up. I can get the audio on with no problem, you know. But Facebook is always fucking up, uh, it, far more than it should. Uh, did you hear that they just, they sold 3,000 ads, I believe, to the Russians? And, uh, and the, the, this, the, this Russian group was planting propaganda uh, during the election, and Facebook sold them the ads. Well, you know, well, I mean... So it could have been a hundred. There's nothing thousand. wrong with that. You yeah, know, it was a hundred thousand. I mean, if you're selling ads, uh, you have to be somewhat democratic about it, you know. And so, if but, they wanted to buy spots to, you know, vilify Hillary or whatever it took, uh, they have the right to do that. And, and and it would be wrong of Facebook not to sell them. The well, the space. Russians were planting uh, messages, uh, some of them, and they were very directed. Uh, some of them were for gun control. Some of them were pro-gun. They, they, they were manipulating uh, the, uh, the information. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, I, didn't and, I didn't hear the story, but then again, I haven't been hearing much of anything lately. Mm -hmm. You know, I've been I, so beset by one problem after another, a wife who's out of sync for an entire interview, or a Facebook that won't work. Now tomorrow, I've got the joy of joys. Fios is coming to pull out all my boxes and put in new boxes. Oh, but I did get all my hard drives online now. That guy really did the job, and he and there was one Fantastic. he didn't put online, and I learned how to do it yesterday, so I did it myself. That's nice. I, what uh, I guess the new boxes are because you upgraded your service. That's right. So every yeah. they, uh, first. When I first called these people, they, you know, I, I, look, I've got to thank Fios. They really, when it came to fixing this problem, uh, it, they really fixed the problem. Okay, yeah. so I got to. When they fixed the problem, they, they really, really fixed, fixed the, the problem. problem. <laughs> um, when they sleep around the house, they really sleep around the house. Oh, now that's a nice picture of of Brian because uh, yeah. we can actually see him. He looks like he works for the SPCA or a police uh, people because he's got all that. Grill work shield. back there. <laughs> yeah. Paddy wagon. Is that to keep yeah, people right. from stealing hearts he and has, things like that? I bet you he has uh, his interior light on. I do actually. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, Much uh, better. Uh, what was I going to say? The oh, the gate here is on uh, some of our vehicles, and I, I uh, I'm under the assumption that it's there to uh, protect me in case I got a large or large and long piece of freight. That wants to come barreling down at me if I'm going at a faster rate of speed downhill. Yeah. Well, I had a piece of freight delivered today to my apartment. Yeah. Uh, I, I got a bed in a box. What? Uh, I ordered a, a Tempur-Pedic mattress, queen size. Yeah. At least uh, it wasn't a cunt in a can. Yeah, really. And uh, this thing is is suction uh, to to fit in the box about two feet by five feet. And uh, it weighs a ton, but you, uh, you have to take your old mattress off, put the thing on the box spring, and then open it up in, in position. And about six hours later, you can put sheets on it. Uh, so it isn't going to get done tonight. Well, I mean, is it a comfortable bed hours. in a box? This is rated. It had like 1,800 uh, uh, customer reviews, and it was rated five-star uh it, it's uh a firm uh it's it's called a Marisleep, 
And it, it was very interesting the way they're, they're selling this. And there's a guarantee that if you sleep on it between 30 and 100 days and you don't like it, they'll refund your money, pick it up, no charge. Really? Uh, they don't charge for freight either way. So I had nothing to lose. Uh, and my old bed is 13, 14 years old. It was time to send it down the road. Wow. wow. Yeah. I, I was. Uh, is your old one a foam bed? Oh. No, my old one is uh, a Sealy, you know, it was a, it was a yeah. top of the line Sealy back in the day, but now the edges uh, are, are uh, breaking down and yeah. I'm not getting a, I'm not getting a comfortable sleep. So, so the foam one, I'll tell you, you'll love it. <laughs> yeah. And it's supposed to have cooling and, and, and yeah. so a mirror sleep. I, <clears throat> and they only sell on the internet and uh, I, I'm, I'll let you know how it is once I get it open. <laughs> I thought I saw something like that on TV as a mattress in a box. Yeah, they've got a yeah. few of them now. Yeah, there's, there's there's a number of companies that sell these. This one just seemed to be highly rated. I made a search for uh, uh, the, the best uh, mattresses, and this came up number one. So uh, I said... I wonder, how, I wonder how that works. Casper, are you are you going to use it for your main bed or are you just, is this yeah. like a guest bed? No, for a main no, bed. No, I'm going to use it for the main bed. And, and and wait a minute, let me get this again because I was busy having to fix a picture here. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I see. I'm gonna. I do all the things on this program. Uh, uh, we heard <laughs> it, it, it comes in a box. Right. How big is the it's, box? Uh, the box is about uh, twenty inches by twenty inches by. Five feet high. Okay, so it's about like this, maybe. Uh, oh, by, oh, yeah. I see. Okay, okay. It's the width of a uh, of a, of a bed. Of the mattress, the mattress. right? And then, the mattress, so you're actually you're getting a you're getting a mattress in there. Yeah. Okay. But they they, uh, they uh, what do they do when they suck all the air out? Uh, they vacuum like, pack it. Yeah, they vacuum pack it. And uh, what happens is, uh, if you don't like it, they'll just pick it up and donate it. What do you yeah. have to do, though, to get the bed working? Uh, I have to take the old mattress off, yeah. set this thing in its vacuum-packed container on top of the bed, Yeah. Uh, then use that their special tool to open it mm -hmm. and stand back. <laughs> oh, really? And then it's a... Yeah, yeah. it takes like It's like, it's like fully... snakes in a can. Yeah. 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 Or it's like unlatching a bra from a... From a, from a from a, from a lady with a, a double D uh, breasts and a A cup size bra. Dang it! Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, breaks yeah. your fucking nose in two or three different places. Yeah. So, you know, I didn't, I didn't lay on it. And then, you know, what the ad said was, how are you going to tell in 10 minutes of laying on a bed in a department store whether you like it or not? So you sleep on True. it for three to, to 100 days. And uh, you got nothing to yeah, lose. But it's got to be a shitty bed if they say, well, you know, if you don't like it, we'll just give it to some poor person. I, yeah. No, they, their, 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 uh, their warranty is based on customer satisfaction. And they have a very high customer satisfaction ratio. So uh, it made me uh, think that it was uh, okay to try. I once had a Tempur-Pedic mattress and I sold it. I, I, uh, I didn't like it. It, it, made, it, was, it was hot. You know, it didn't breathe. These new ones, though, supposedly have some sort of cooling technology, and uh, they they breathe. Yeah. By the way, so, let me let me tell people we are open for business here. So if you want to call us, we're at Scott on Skype. Uh, it's been, been, a, been a little quieter than usual because like the last couple of weeks we've been getting like full houses all the time. Uh, yeah. But we haven't heard from Rob Alfano in the last couple of days. But you know, isn't he moving? Huh? I, he, I think he's in the process of moving. Isn't yeah, he? the twenty first, I think he, he moves in. So <laughs> you know, he might be packing and doing a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, uh, uh, getting ready for the move. Yeah. Well, but anyway, uh, 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 and Jeff, if you're out there, I'd love to hear from you. And Renee, we'd love to hear from you. Yes, go ahead, Phil. Talking about open for business, I have a used, broken-down mattress, queen size, that I'm uh, <laughs> going to throw away, so I'll sell it cheap. <laughs> How many cum stain stains are there on there? Uh, I don't know. I have one of those mattress covers. Mm. Uh, you know. What, you cover the uh, mattress? And, and this, huh? You cover the mattress. Packer huh? tracks. Yeah, and you know, this tracks. is not yeah. the mattress that you used in Sausalito <laughs> with red. 
Uh, oh, yeah. Well, that one got a good workout. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I had this uh, girlfriend. Her name was Red. It was a very strange relationship, actually. Uh, but uh, we had some uh, very kinky, interesting sex. And uh, uh, she had a boyfriend. And one day he proposed to her and she said, I'll marry you, right? And then she told me, I have something to tell you. And that is that uh, I'm, uh, I'm getting married. And I said, uh, well, and she said, I want you to know our relationship isn't over, okay? <laughs> and I said, oh yes, it is. <laughs> and she said, why do you say it is? And I said, because once you get married, you're just not you you you're, you're you're a woman you're you're invested in another person and you aren't going to want to still keep fucking me of course they do i was wrong very wrong <laughs> very wrong <laughs> it's just that in you know she'd either have to come over to my place or we'd rent a motel quick you know well here's uh, the thing about that here's how i say here's how i do this yeah. i don't give two fucks about the uh, 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 about the kind of she wants uh, if she, she wants to get a little hanky panky or if he wants to get be again that I'm gay uh, change it to a man uh, wants to get a little hanky panky involved that's fine after yeah. marriage or whatever coitus whatever but uh, uh, I'm I'm more concerned about the other partner if he's going to show up at like twelve o'clock midnight with a double barrel shotgun pointed at my face uh, no no. Thank you. But if he's into oh, it too, uh, no, what the fuck? Oh, wait cares? a minute. I know where I was wrong. She was married. That was it. She was married when I started seeing her. And then she came to me and said, my husband and I have just broke up. And she says, so. and when she you said, started seeing her, uh, I think you were still working at Camel. Yeah. Well, and, I think at some point she got married. Okay. Yeah. And then she said to me, I'm going to, I, I, we're, we're, we're separating. Okay. Isn't that wonderful because you and I can spend more time with each other? And my answer to her was what I just said. No, yeah. it'll all be different. And you'll now you'll have a chance. With me, you've got a certain confidentiality. You can have sex with me. You know I'm never going to go run into your husband. I'm trustworthy. Now that yeah. you don't have a husband, I said, the whole world's open to you. You know, what are you going to need me for? Yeah, you, know. it's, uh, it, you were still living in Sausalito, but you were on the way out with Susan. So. Yeah, well, I was cheating on my wife, so, you know. It's, uh, well, no, you guys had an arrangement. Yeah, we did. Uh, and, oh, oh look, uh, speak of the devil. We went, We thought he was moving in somewhere, and then all of a sudden, here's Rob Alfano. Hi, Rob. Hey there. How and are you? Hello, Jeff. How are you? Hello. Yeah. Hey. Uh, You're got... packing, Rob? You getting ready for the move? Uh, a couple of more weeks. Oh, is it two more weeks? Wow. The 23rd we move. Well, you're, you, you're moved, actually. I mean, you're moved out of the old place. We're moved into an apartment, right? Yeah. We've been right. here since May, the end of May. Right. So you've been, you've been there since, uh, since May. Uh, and uh, uh, so, you, so all the stuff that you're going to have to move has kind of already been, been done, right? It's been packed and stuff. Yeah, it's just some... A few things that we unpack to live with here. What did you do? Put it in some kind of storage space or something? Well, put it in a... this is a two-bedroom, so one bedroom is completely packed like a warehouse. Yeah. And then we have a, a big um, one of those pods, you know, those storage pods that yeah. they yeah. pick up and deliver. Yeah, yeah. So one of those, yeah. So, uh, and, 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 and so all, that? All, all you do is What's get... That? Hmm? Ahead, What's that? What's that, Phil? What did you say, oh. Phil? I said they store that at a facility. Yeah, it's stored where my car is stored, about a block and a half away from my new house. Nice. By the way, interesting story about how you take care of things that are big and bulky. We have some friends who live in Miami, and you know what's happening in Miami. Irma. Uh, Irma. Your wet dream is coming true, Alex. My wet dream is coming true. <laughs> Devastation Jose, in Miami. Is you through. always said how you would like to see a Miami wiped off the face of the earth. Yeah. Well, you may just get your wish. I may get my wish. And by the way, should the day come that they start having money they're raising for Miami, I'm not giving them a cent. Okay. Yeah, send them a dildo or something. Yeah. But any, anyway, want. anyway, but we have these friends who live in Miami. So they're getting out of Dodge because they don't want to be there. But, you know, right. how do you get your car 
out of Dodge. So what they're doing is, is they're putting their car on a train. And the train is going up the coast, and then they're going to take get get the car out of the train, right here and then in, they're right going to drive to New, New York. And hey, it's old Casa Bennett that they're going to be. That's the way a lot of uh, what they call snowbirds uh, yeah. that would go down for the winter would put it on the train. But I was looking at the report, the uh, the weather tonight, and Miami looked like, and Broward County, which is Fort Lauderdale, yeah. looked like a disaster zone, 185 mile an hour winds. That's why I say it's too late. I mean, it's hit. Not hitting and, until Sunday. Uh, not if you look at the, uh, you know, what's going I don't, on. I don't think it's hit yet. I don't think it's, it's hit it's yet. In a, it's, it's in the British Virgin Islands. Is and it's that what they're showing and saying? It's Miami? It's not Miami. It's not oh, really? here yet. It's, it's happening this weekend. Oh. I I uh, thought the winds were up to uh, 225 or something, and it went down to 185. 185, but there's another hurricane right behind it called Juan. Yeah. And, uh, they're thinking that it's going to go north before it hits uh, the Florida coast. But, uh, Did you, you say know, it was Juan? Yeah, I believe it's Juan. Oh, good. Maybe Trump will get the wall up in time. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to need it. I heard that one before. <laughs> So but, after they're done getting butt fucked, they're gonna get skull fucked. I think I know why we're having this <laughs> weather, uh, you know, between Harvey and and uh, and Irma. Uh, uh, today there were two massive uh, sun flares, uh, the biggest ones that they've had in ten years. They grade it. It's, it's something called an X. Is the is the largest sun flare, and uh, this was an X nine point three was the second one, and an X two point two was the first one uh, within hours of one another. And these sun flares are so powerful that they may be, uh, well, not only do they deal with uh, the magnetic fields, but they may be causing some of this weather that we're having now. You know, it's not uncommon to have hurricanes, but to have them this strong uh, could be due to these uh, sun uh, flares. I doubt it. Yeah, I doubt somebody, it. Somebody told me, he says, oh, it's that heart program. I go... Harp is gone. I think it needs to stay uh, disabled. Do you know, I, I was talking with my wife today, my third, second wife, not my current one, but my second one. And uh, she was saying that she heard that Rush Limbaugh was blaming the hurricanes on the liberals. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> now, you know, I've heard that. I, and, and she said, how can he even say that? I said, because he needs to keep making a buck. That's how he can <laughs> say it. You know, <laughs> and you know what? His listeners believe it. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, I would. Yeah, it's really stupid. I, I I blame it on Kim Jong Un. Yeah, sure. They also they also believe that Trump uh, can walk on water, and you know. I blame it on Trump. Here's the woman with the uh, famous toilet, ladies and gentlemen. Renee Collins is on the line. Uh, she should be poking her face in here. There, Mike. there we are. What? I'm gonna make Mike feel better. Oh, wait a minute. Are you are you on an iPhone? Yeah, I am. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Do that. Oh heard no. Sideways? Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. so I'm only gonna be here for a few minutes, but I heard you ragging on Mike, so I thought I would come in and show you how hot and sweaty I am. And what Renee is actually doing is pulling up subfloor. Hang on a second. I gotta move my finger. Uh, is that is this why you're are on you an, a member of the subfloor removal union? Yep, that's I'm um, very Wait. sorry. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to report you. <laughs> no, she has her card. She has her card. I saw her card already. I know she's card carrying, yeah. but not. Uh, all, all, all we're seeing is red now. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure that out. So hold on a second. This is my first time on the iPhone. So. I know. I I was doing the uh, the show the other night. I called into the show here that was being done. Oh, we lost her. Uh, and. I, I couldn't figure out how to use I, um, a Skype on the phone. It was just, it, 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 I, 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 all I had in full screen was Brian driving. And, and that was it. Now, hey, listen, I want to ask you a question. Oh, wait a minute. We lost Phil, and Phil might have an answer to this. Look, okay. I'm always on the receiving end of Skype. Unfortunately, I really am not on the sending end of Skype, okay? Now, I know how to make a regular phone call on Skype. I've done it any number of times. I do it with, like, you know, Stephen Pearl and Larry Bubbles Brown and so on. But 
I wanted to go to Gabnet Live and uh, or to Gab, you know, Gabnet Live, and call my wife from that to see if there was any less of a lag, and I couldn't figure. All it would let me do was ask her for permission. I couldn't like just call her directly on Skype. Is that so? Well, maybe it was like when you were married, you had a beg. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I told her, I told her, go online and, and, you know, give me permission. I don't know if she ever did. Uh, uh, maybe she doesn't have the most recent but, but, Skype. No, but what, what, I don't understand. Can't you, can't you just call a Skype number? I think, I think uh, uh, Jeff, how do you do that? I, I just look over at Skype and it's usually, uh, it's a list of some people that are on that list. Oh, yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying, they, they called you. Uh, Sometimes they asked you to accept them as a, as right. a friend or whatever. But how do you, do, if, I, if I don't have Phil in my contacts and I want to call Phil, if I have Phil Myers either number or name or whatever, uh, it then says I want permission from him. He, I want to be accepted as a contact. You can't, I think that's for a group call. I, no, I no. I don't think that is different because I I called Rob last week and I had never called him before. Just could called be, him up. Maybe there's a setting in your preferences I, I think that says don't accept setting. calls from anybody I don't know. I I think and, there and, and, and some I, people have it set and some people don't. Yeah, well, there is a be. setting. There is a setting that I um, that I I set that I found that I had had changed here. Um, uh, calls. Where where was it? Uh, oh, I, allow anyone to call me. If you have that clicked, then I think you're okay. Like yeah. somebody could dial, you know, go Gabnet Live, and uh, put that into calling, and you're okay. Yeah. But uh, it uh, it just it just mystified me. I guess most it probably is defaulted the other way, and I set that a long time ago. Right. I. But uh, remember we used to have to do that. So those settings probably hadn't changed since they updated their software. Yeah. It, it could have been his his default setting. But, I, but, but all of a sudden I, it I hit me, it hit me that I have no idea how to make Skype calls outside of phone calls <laughs> and people who are on my list. You know. Yeah. So uh, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I, I'm, I'm a moron. I've turned into a well, moron. What you got to do is, you see, you opened up a Skype account and you put the money into that account and then you didn't know how to get back into it. Right. So this one probably doesn't have any money in it. And uh, uh, did you call us her Skype number or did you call her I, phone I number? Call, I, I called her Skype number, but I had it on the other phone. But I what it did is it simply asked her if uh, she would uh, accept me, as, uh, you know, I, that she was had, right. had to accept me as a... As a uh, a caller or whatever and of course i didn't i wasn't doing that you know so well uh i talk to somebody every saturday morning my nutritionist mm -hmm. and uh she's not she's a neophyte when it comes to skype and uh you know uh, i'll see that her uh that she's on skype and then i click on her contact mm -hmm. and I'm able to talk to her without a, without any issue uh, the same thing with uh, Jan Hutchins when uh, I was talking to him on uh, Saturday mornings. Uh, you know, it was it was not an issue at all. Yeah, uh, uh, that's a beam. What, what, what's uh, you getting a new door? No, oh, yeah. They, oh, you want to see the door hole? Okay, hold on, buddy. <laughs> you want a door I hole? I see a lot of holes all the time. Okay, <laughs> Most so of them wait, wait, wait. <laughs> okay, so there's the bottom. Yeah. The, Oh, so bathroom. you have her in the bathroom? This or is this a shower hall. Yeah, hmm? so we dual showers with a rain drip head on one. Nice. Thanks. Nice. He's still up stuff. So. Anyway, I just that? called to say I can't call in because I'm hot and sweaty, and so I'm going to go take a shower in the car. Uh, do you have an outside shower? Oh, um, I'm she getting ready. One of the reasons I removed this door is because I want to put an outside shower over there. Really? Yeah, it's very so popular. This door will open up directly to the lava rock wall with a bunch of bamboo with the nice. outdoor shower. Very nice. What? They have outdoor showers there? And yeah, one of the thing. But is it private though? No one sees you though, right? Binoculars must sell well there. Really? 
<laughs> Actually, we don't care. <laughs> it's not worth it. This island is so old, it's not worth it. Did I hear a rim shot? Yeah, yeah. Well, it was good for it was Rob's uh, joke. It was just a little I, bad time. I, I, you know, I, I, I have always banned from any program I do rim shots. Yeah. You know, I figure that my audience has to figure out what the jokes are. <laughs> yeah. uh, people do a rim shot because they think it makes them funnier because it's saying you can laugh now. Yeah. But well, that, I just I always wanted my the laughs I got to be honest. All right. Uh, well, some people prefer yeah. paint by numbers. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what are you going to pop in there? Yeah, he's got dynamite. What's going yeah, on? Yeah, it look, looks like he's, uh, I, I, you Mohammed? You, you know, it's not. We might have a drive. Ryan? He's coming at us. Who are you talking about? Oh, Brian, he has something in his hand that looks like a bomb. Uh, no, it's a uh, cup. Hold, hold it up. Shaped. It's, uh, hold on. Hold it up. Courtesy of Amazon.com, which is where I do the majority of my shopping. Yeah. Is that where you get your bomber vest? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, there's, there's Greg, that, like the jihadi vest. To, you know, look, he's even got the detonator. <laughs> yeah. Because of the cigarette uh, adapter and the uh, cigarette lighter wow. socket in a vehicle. Wow. And it's, uh, it fits into your cup holder. Oh. What's it really do? It lets you uh, uh, use your devices while they're being powered. Oh, okay. And charged. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And then you strap it to your vest and you walk in and you say, Ali, you are I'm afraid my skin tone's a little too pale to be uh, on... Uh, 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 extremist terrorist uh, watch list, and as far as sympathizing with them is concerned, being an avowed atheist, I don't think they'd want me, even if I offered my services to them, which yeah. I don't. Uh, and not even if you got the seventy-two Virgin Boys. <laughs> yeah, they all be fucking like that Family Guy skit. They'd all be fucking like computer nerds with buck teeth, and you know, they could never ever get laid on their own. You know, that would be like. That would be like the twisted version of hell. So, you know, like, uh, oh, well, that, that's, well, that's how it would pan out, I'm sure. Wait a minute, we yeah. lost, uh, we lost, uh... 400 pound 19 or 18 year old virgins with, uh, body odor issues and, yeah, nothing. Uh, we're losing people. Uh, we lost Renee, but I think she was ready to leave. Yeah, she was the one. yeah, yeah. We we lost you. Well, Jeff's coming back on here. I can no. see him. There he goes. See, I told you. I, 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 I. Jeff was going to get his own bomber suit. Yes, <laughs> right, right, right. So anyway, um, I shop for books on Amazon. <laughs> You know, I could swear that I saw pictures on tonight's news of Broward County, and it looked like it was getting destroyed. Are you saying that what I you was sure that you weren't looking at maybe Andrew from the eighties? Nineties, and Andrew's blamed for having uh, you know, perpetrated the. Uh, yeah, it was ninety two, ninety three. But Andrew's blamed for having uh, uh, promulgated the. Uh, 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 increase in population of the anacondas. So well, I wonder what this storm is going to do. There's another fish that's destroying all the uh, uh, all the. Um, it's a mandarin uh, fish. It, it's got a poisonous stinger on it, mm -hmm. and it has no predators. Uh, and it's uh, now uh, uh, Hurricane Andrew. Supposedly, some of them got out of somebody's aquarium, and it is. Uh, uh, duplicate it, it's it's uh, it's uh, spawned so many f other fish no, so no, quickly. He thinks it's the fish kind of thing. I heard of that that thing. No, no, no. I've seen these. That's they true. they, they like try to kill like? these fish. No. Uh, there, there's open season on them in the Keys, yeah. and uh, there is no predator that uh, that can kill it, and it's totally destroying uh, the fish life and and the uh, and the um, uh, coral. Uh, yeah, it's uh, it's it's really uh, it's called a mandarin. Is it a good uh, eating fish? Uh, well, they're they're serving them up in restaurants, and they say that they're okay. Uh, uh, I 
think they taste like shark or something, but uh, I, I've never. Are you eaten talking about one. that fish that came over from Asia that they brought yeah. over here or something, and right. then they just exactly. multiplied incredibly, and now they're killing other fish? That's the one. It's yeah. a mandarin. I, I, I can't remember for, the for name. For the longest for time, they've been trying to figure. They out able to survive on dry land for short periods of time. They walk no, on the. No, not these. No, no, things. but 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 no, but it, it, the uh, I I know about this fit, and it was uh, they're trying to figure out a way that they can be eaten, and be made yeah. tasty, and to make them very popular, so we can get the population down. Well, you know. they tell the divers, you know, kill as many as you want. They want you to spear them, yeah. uh, but if you, they, if they hit you, they'll they sting in there, and it's and it's very painful, uh, and, and they're very slow moving, so uh, they're easy to take pictures of. But uh, they're um, sounds they're like sounds like everything. sounds like Trump. Hey, yeah. that's the first time his name has been mentioned tonight. How's he doing? You, you need a rim shot. No, 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 no. Comstock, destroy you doing, Trump. Yeah, make sure it's a rim shot and not a rim job. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you see, you are allowed uh, to go bada boom or bada boom, but you can't actually use the actual sound. The actual sound, though. Yeah. Because it doesn't make things funnier. All right, try this. Now, that's not funny. Yeah. Huh? Family Guy skits. That reminds me of that one. Yep. Yeah, like the, the ladies being interrogated. By the way, has anybody, and I started to watch it today, and I figured I'd save it for Girlfriend. Uh, has anybody seen the first episode of American Horror Story? No. no I'm kind of scared. Are you scared? Yes, it's very scary. I'm not Do you know what it's it. about? What? This Talk is show host? It's it, 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 every year they do a different story. Yes. You know, and this is called uh, American Horror Story Cult. And it's all about basically Trump getting elected. Oh, maybe I'll watch it. As being the ultimate horror story. Well, <laughs> had, Van had, well, wait a minute, let me finish. There's this one woman who's going crazy because he's been he's been you know made president. It is it's very weird. I don't know whether I like it or not, but certainly uh, the producer of the show, who happens to be gay, I think is very pissed off at some of the gay stuff that Trump has been doing or not doing, you know. Um, and so the lead characters are a lesbian couple who feel their marriage is going to be broken up by the Trump administration. I mean it. It's it's an interesting take on this series, uh, and something that will drive Phil crazy. You know, uh, the uh, Leslie Van Hood Houghton uh, was released, or not released, but paroled today. Yeah. Uh, uh, after forty years in prison, talking about cults, she was a member of the uh, uh, who was the who was the guy in Manson. L.A. Manson. Uh, Manson. Manson. Cult. Really be still alive. Yeah, yeah, I guess she was a she was convicted of killing some shopkeeper yeah. uh, forty years ago, and uh, she's being released. Yeah. How old is she? She's quite uh, old. She's probably in the sixties. Yeah. Is even coming out of jail? Yeah. Yeah. I think she was nineteen, so she's uh, you know yeah she's almost sixty. Yep. Yep. Hey, Alex, I have a question for you. My brother and has been going to the city lately to see shows, and his wife been going to Broadway shows, and he tells me, of, and he gave me a card uh, of all these trucks that are parked around Times Square and stuff, and they're openly selling marijuana edibles. What? They have candy, they have pot brownies and cookies and all kinds of stuff. they got these wrap trucks and they and they're they're selling uh, edibles right there out in the open. It's legal, it's, or supposedly it's nobody stopping them. Wait a minute, this, it, these are trucks in Times Square. Yes, and these are like and he gave me the he gave me the card. Uh, give me uh, it's called Weed. Give me a second, I'll tell you because I went to the website. Weed try. World Weed World Candies dot Global is the website, and they're and they're they're selling in. Dallas, in New York, there's a bunch of different cities, and if you go there, you'll see that they have these trucks on the street. 
and they're selling candies, lollipops, different kinds of edibles on the streets of New York City in the open for people who are going into Broadway shows. Let me see here. Hmm. What is the... <laughs> Well, what is that's kind of funny. Is that the there way? It comes. Especially if it's a bad show, you know, it could help. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what's the name of the thing? It's uh, weedworldcandies.global Weed is the World website. Candies. I heard American in Paris is opening up in uh, in New York <laughs> today. <laughs> what is, it was open it was been, it's been there for years. Uh, no, this is the new one. Uh, uh, new and improved. No one improved. A, a musical, yeah. Oh, Weed I'm World surprised. Candies. I'm surprised you You're haven't heard of this. Son of a bitch. Here it is. Where's yeah. it? You see New York, and they'll show you the prices of the things they sell. They yeah. sell lollipops, and they sell cookies and brownies. <laughs> so might as well say you get high before you go into the theater. Yeah. Weed they're World out Candies there and they're, launched they're, in they're uh, 1999 in fact, when the goal was to get marijuana and hemp legalized and industrialized. We toured the country, oh, in a fleet of loud vehicles promoting the legalization and decriminalization of marijuana. I don't think they're selling pot. Yes, they are. I think no, they're, they're not selling weed. You can't buy a joint, but you can buy infused candy and cookies and, and brownies. It's gotta be illegal Our products too. include it, bubble kush. Is it legal in uh, New York yet? No, or? it's not. No, but it, it's it, not, it, unless but, you have like But my, my cousin bought some of this stuff. And did he get high? Oh, yeah. Son of a bit. Well, here it looks like they're just trying to promote the legalization. It, well, the, well that's what they say, but they, they'll, like my brother was telling me that as you walk by, they're making it very, they're very loud. They'll say, don't just walk by when you can fly by. Oh my <laughs> Stuff God. like that. <laughs> that is kind of funny. Well, I'm looking at the truck, and they look very cute. And yeah, they're wrapped. They got the, the they're all done up and stuff. Can, and they're in different cities. The different cities are on the page. Yeah. Coming to a city We're near over you. Seven days a week, 420 days a year. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Now, somebody I'm told me that the term that. 420 started in San Rafael. And that, yes, uh, it did. It, we had it, the guys on GabNet, remember? Yes, we did. Oh, is that how I heard it? Okay. Yeah. That, that's how I heard it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They, they, uh, what, how, how, I can't remember. How did they say it came to be? It was 420. They, they were in school, and they were going to meet at this rock at 420 or something, uh, uh, or either on that date or... Uh, and and get high or, or something to that effect, and uh, that's that's where it, it all stemmed from this yeah. 420 movement. Wow, is that it, uh, Rob? Is that what the? Uh... I think that's what it was. Something like that. Yeah. How did we? How did those guys come to be I, on the show? Do I, you I think they just called. I, if I remember correctly, I don't think we went out to get them. The guy Top called, seat. and then he said, "Guess what I invented?" You know. And then uh, told the whole be, yeah. story about how it came to be. And then he pointed <laughs> us to the website where, you know, the, yeah. someplace where he can corroborate what he said. Yeah. yeah. You didn't know somebody who knew him? Uh, no, I don't think so. I don't, I don't seem to remember that. But I thought yeah. it was you, Phil, who knew someone that knew him. No, I don't think so. So anyway, I, I was talking to my wife today. I did the interview. You know, she worked for Barbara Walters as Barbara Walters' associate producer for years, which meant that she went everywhere in the world, literally, to go mm. set up interviews for Barbara, you know, and do the pre-interviewing and uh, the, uh, uh, <coughs> the work that had to be done to, to do an interview. And was that when it was, what, 60 Minutes? or uh... No, no. She had the Barbara Walters specials. These were the shows that she worked oh. on with the Barbara Walters oh. specials. Was that after 60 Minutes? She would, Barbara Walters was never with 60 Minutes. Yeah, she, she wasn't with 60 Minutes. Which, which show was she on? She did uh, some that, 2020, 2020 stuff. 2020, 2020, 60 Minutes, 420, who knows? Yeah. <laughs> he wants to get high, I can see it. Yeah. But anyway, some crap uh, so where was I? Oh. Uh, she, she went all over the world setting up interviews for Barbara Walters. Yes. And uh, she had, I mean, interviewed, I mean, literally been close to and in a personal kind of way 
with some of the most famous people in the world. And uh, tomorrow night, you'll hear uh, some very interesting it look a very interesting look into Ronald Reagan that okay. you probably never suspected. Uh, oh, no. And uh, she also talks about who the nicest person was that you can remember ever having to do business with. Uh, and it's not un, it's not unsurprising because the person is has made a career out of being very likable. So anyway. Okay. Yeah. My chest has been, uh, I've been having pains for two, not pains. I think I have, I think this is anxiety. You can get, yeah. you can get slight chest pains from anxiety, yeah. can't you? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Uh, what? What? What'd you say? What? Just see the doctor. Yeah. No, nah, I don't need to see a doctor. It's not that bad. It's just, I, I, I just feel, you know, do you have a, a little equipment that you can test it yourself? Test what? Test your blood pressure. Oh, my, my my blood pressure. No, that's all. Oh, that's all okay. I think I have I have a, a blood pressure cuff. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Give it a try. Are you taking any blood pressure medicine along with the Lipitor and uh, things like yeah, that? Yeah, I think I am taking blood pressure medicine. I don't know what medicine I'm taking anymore. Yeah, all me either. If it oh, Faye didn't give it to me in the morning, I would never get it. Yeah. You know. Yeah. But, uh, Have you guys seen a new blood pressure cup now? It fits around your wrist. And it connects to your iPhone? Is that the one? <laughs> uh, no, no, it keeps records. It keeps the records on the uh, on the device. You can just take it into your doctor. Oh, there's there's one they're advertising that you use in conjunction with your iPhone. Really? I think you were joking about it. From, no, and for my diabetes uh, checker, I have something called a Dario, and it plugs into my iPhone. You put the strip into the thing, and the uh, all the information is is stored on the iPhone, and you can email it to your doctor, and uh, oh, it's cool. very very convenient. So I was thinking about getting the one for the blood pressure. I was told that I should check it, and uh, uh, get the same kind of thing that works with the iPhone. Mm -hmm. uh, I was, and I'm happy with the Dario. You're happy with the Dario. Okay. Yeah. And I own the Dario. And I hold. That's exactly what I was. Thinking. No, but anyway, I don't think I'm having. I'm not having heart problems. This isn't like pressure. It's just kind of agita. I don't know. Yeah. I'm just. I, eating anything huh? that you shouldn't lately? You eating anything no, wrong? No, or? it's almost. It's, it's it almost kind of has a feeling of heartburn, but it isn't. You know, I, I yeah. have a doctor. My doctor. My uh, <laughs> in, in my what do you call? It? You know my. Uh, uh, my, yeah, my, the main doctor. The main uh, doctor, the one you go to who directs you to other people. General practitioner or GP, whatever. Yeah. yeah, well, he isn't a GP, though. He he actually, heart is his specialty. So a I, uh, he's, he's a cardiologist who, who does a normal practice, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I he's always, uh, he's every, you know, he's always checking me out every year, you know. He gives me a echocardiogram. Because he bought the machine and he's got to pay it off, you know. Oh, I'm thinking about getting one of those. What happens if you call him on the phone? Oh, uh, uh, you, forget it. That uh, just doesn't happen. Unless you've had your yearly visit and then he's got to talk to you for one, one and a half minutes, you know. He, you know what he did? He did something. He created a concierge service. Have you heard about this with doctors? Yes. Yeah, you, you know, pay so much you pay like twenty five hundred dollars a year, and they'll actually make a house call. Yeah, uh, I have a uh, I have a friend that uh, has that. Uh, you know, uh, she's a friend and a customer, and she has the concierge service. Yeah, well, uh, my feeling is, fuck you, doctor. I'm uh, I've been a patient of yours for X number of years, uh, and you know, it, it, you took an oath. You know, and it didn't but say if you give me twenty five hundred dollars, I'll take better care of you. you. Don't they go to your home and do all sorts of extra stuff? They'll, they'll do a house call. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, if you think about it, uh, if you need them, if if you're on a, if you're getting to the point where you really need a doctor and you get ten visits a year, uh, it's cheap when you amortize it. <clears throat> well, yeah, but yeah. you you shouldn't have to. A doctor should. Look, I don't know. What Maybe I'm all wrong. You know what I'm trying to say? A doctor should should sitting in their office, 
didn't they go into being a doctor because they wanted to help people? And if yeah. they didn't, what am I doing yeah. seeing? Driving them? around in a car that says doctor. Mm. I froze up. Not the most efficient way to do it. Yeah, yeah. But how many of you guys remember when you were growing up as a kid seeing a doctor doing a house call? Oh, yeah. Oh, that happened all the time. And when I, the last time I saw a Freezing doctor make, make a house call. I'm going to fall back. Okay. All right. He's freezing up on me. Uh, anyway, um, no, I mean, when I, uh, when I was in uh, France, uh, I got really bad uh, dysentery. And so we had to call a doctor in the middle of the night, and he came to the hotel. And another time I had the same problem, and when I was in Switzerland, a doctor came to, to the hotel room. Uh, in other countries, they do come to your, uh, uh, to your, uh, 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 wherever you are, they make house calls. But, you know, the, the day of the house call is pretty much a thing of the past. Here we go. Let's see here. What? Yeah, what is that noise? You still hear it? No, I have my headphones on. I didn't know if you pick it up or not. What is that? Before noise? I just had the end. That's uh. I have a, uh, um, I have a van of my own, which is what I'm driving now. Yeah. Um, I broke down and finally broke down and bought one. Uh, and uh, I have a uh, 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 those hand truck things that you load stuff on, and you. And uh, I have that. Additionally, I also have uh, uh, a small thing of of chain that I use to uh, chain that to. Uh, a post at my place of employment uh but now since i have this van i keep it in my van and i uh, took the chain and the lock that i had purchased for it with me so and what, I have what we were hearing let me let's port, let's port my butt, let's cut to my the van. chase on this what we heard was the chains yes oh okay yes uh, uh you know, when I'm, I a pothole or something and it, you know feels really frozen hurt. again look at him Bill's got internet trouble. Wow. Oh, you know something? I got to tell you. This Fios internet, this gigabyte, uh, almost a gigabyte up and a gigabyte down, is so fucking fast, my retina <laughs> catch when I'm uploading shows to the server. We knew you like it, you see? Uh, huh? No. no you were worried, and it's really good. Well, I mean, the, 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 uh, the, the thing's really good, and compared to... The old clunky one that I had from Time Warner. This thing is like, you know, it's nothing. Yeah. And yet I'm getting these incredible speeds. So when I have to upload uh, the video, for instance, to Facebook after the show and so on, it's doing it just, I mean, That's it's amazing how fast, you know. Uh, plus I have fiber right up to this desk that I'm talking to you from. Mm -hmm. The fiber ends here, and the you know the coaxial takes over. Uh, and I don't even know if there's coaxial into the uh, into the. Um, um, I I don't think that's coaxial. I think it's something else. I think it's actually fiber going into the uh, into the modem, into the router. I mean, it's it's amazing the speed. Um, I I don't like the TV that much. Uh, it looks better. But it doesn't have all the. It doesn't have really good services on it. I mean, when I want to delete a program, I can't like check a whole bunch of them and then it deletes them all at once. I have to delete each one one by one by one by one. Yeah, but outside of that, it's okay, you know. And now tomorrow, I'm going to be able to record six shows at the same time. I, you know, if, if you have to record six shows at the same time, you really better get a life, you know. <laughs> Gee, I've got to do Judge Judy and General what Hospital. What constitutes a life, though? Huh? Yeah. Well. What constitutes a good life? Yeah. Uh, you know, it's going from bar to bars, bullshitting with people you can't stand, and uh, drinking yourself silly so that you can endure what they have to say that much more. Yeah. Fuck right. that. Fuck that. I like your attitude on life. Fuck that. Yeah. Well, just... Brutally realistic. What can I say? So what has Trump been doing today to attract attention? Because oh, I wasn't paying attention to the news at all. Well, and you didn't hear about the deal that he made with Pelosi and uh, and uh, Chuck Schumer? No. 
Oh, yeah, he pissed off all of his uh, all of his Republican pals because he decided that he would uh, he would uh, allow them to raise the debt ceiling yeah. for four months or something like yeah, that. Yeah. In addition to to uh, I guess to talk about the uh, the money for all the hur all the hurricane. Uh, yeah. You know, so so what so what, what, did, what did what deal did he make with Pelosi and Schumer? That he would they were he was going to allow them to raise the debt seal. He would he would have three months, four months. Oh, but he, the Republicans wanted eighteen, and uh, uh, he didn't give them what they wanted. So the Republicans are all mad at Trump, <laughs> pissed off at him. Why yeah. is it we can get all? Uh, yes, Jeff, you had your hand up. So I thought what I heard was that it's a three month thing. Yes, for the, uh, youngsters. What do they call their name? Uh, Deca, Dapa. Deca, yeah. Dreamers. At, they were going to give them a three-month time. And during that time, the Senate and Congress should actually create a solution that's a, a permanent solution. I thought it was six months on that, but the... Uh, six months. Yeah, the, DACA, the DACA DACA is six. was the extension of the debt ceiling and a tied-in Harvey aid. <clears throat> Uh, Houston. Uh, uh, I, I I didn't hear anything about the uh, the Dreamer uh, deal in conjunction with that. No, but it's not. you know, maybe I. Yeah. You, know. uh, you know what I was going to say before I uh, got uh, into, uh, challenged, uh, uh, digitally challenged, uh, was when um, Brian was talking about the chain and the lock in his new van. I was thinking that's for his victims. <laughs> 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 yeah, uh, uh, you know you're you're delayed a great deal, uh, Phil. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's by, you're delayed by about two seconds. Oh, wow. Hey, Phil, you'd be my first victim if not for the fact that this uh, vehicle only has a gross vehicle weight of eighty five hundred pounds. <laughs> Cute. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I'm still. I'm still delayed. I'll. I'll try uh, clicking it on and clicking it off. Well, no, you're I, okay. I rebooted. You're okay. Leave it. Well, leave, leave it the right way it is. Here. Also, my right my, CP, my CPU usage is is quite extensive, uh, and I don't understand it. You know. Mm. Uh, Jeff has got his hand up. Yeah. Yes, Jeff. So uh, watching the TV thing, the our senator from New York was just smiling. Next to Trump and yeah. being so happy, and there's two Republican guys who are sitting there look like they just got fucked by Trump. I, I'm glad they, they're feeling that way, and I'm glad Trump did what he did. Uh, I, I want Trump to act independently of all of them. That's, that's why I voted for him. And uh, this is one of the first acts that he's done that I, I'm happy that he did. And, I, you know, I have nothing... Uh, you know, if what he needed was to extend the debt ceiling and uh, and the Republicans weren't happy because it was not the deal they wanted, fuck them. You know, uh, I'm glad that he did it. I'm glad he got the uh, uh, the action on Harvey. I, I think I think what you're attributing as uh, Trump being an independent sort is really that he doesn't know what the fuck he's doing and he's just grasping at straws. He doesn't have a plan. His plan is, hey, there's a disaster. It's called Harvey. Let's get this money down there. The other thing well, wait is, wait a minute. I want to know. I want to know why we can't get the money down to people who are starving in this country. Why? Why is it so easy to get money for Harvey, but it's not easy to get money for people who need it all the time and through, you know? There's a debt ceiling, and uh, in order to. Uh, meet the demand of what they were going to have to do initially. They needed to lift that debt ceiling, and I'm glad they did. You know, so a couple of weeks ago, which you guys I don't think talked about because I haven't heard you talk about it, the American consumer who had hit one trillion dollars in debt. Yeah. So you say no big deal to raising the let the debt ceiling. At some point in time, even though that's the governmental debt ceiling, it's going to have effect. And number two is he didn't need to start, show up there the second time. He just needed to show up one time. And yeah. then what he needed to do is, is to give money the second time. Well, the, the next time he went down there so he could kiss a Negro baby. Yeah. Right. 
Yeah. But but he really needed to not go down again, but he needed to send the money. And has it passed? Did yeah. Pass? Uh, well, he, he it, it, it happened. Uh, I guess that's why the Republicans are mad. But, um, you know, uh, if they didn't raise the debt ceiling, the government would shut down. And uh, and that's why they had, to, they had to raise it, and they had to raise it also to give uh, Harvey money. Wait a minute. It, it, am, am, I, am I getting the distinct impression that uh, Trump is going to add to our national debt? Ooh. Yeah, but he'll lower taxes. But how do you lower taxes and spend more money? That doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense. To increase the economy. No, it Oh, to increase the economy. I see. You increase yeah. the economy by putting the budget in jeopardy by making the debt ceiling high. Somehow, this doesn't. This doesn't. Uh, may, uh, I guess I just didn't go to that. What was that school he went to? Uh, uh, Wharton. Wharton. I guess I didn't go. To, I guess this is Wharton economics or something. That Could I, be. I'm uh, sure does not appreciate the fact that they're still mentioned within the same sentence as Donald Trump. Because remember, during the election, they wanted their diploma back. They didn't want to talk about him in any way, shape, or form. Oh, they did! You didn't... Oh, come on. So you didn't He's the see president it? of the United States. They're probably putting a statue over at their uh, university. I doubt it. Doubtful. Yes. Doubtful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're going to ask for their stuff back. But I thought that was kind of funny because Harvard and Yale didn't ask for the shit from George Bush back, and they you know he didn't go to any of those classes. Hey, did, did, when they asked for the stuff back, did they offer to pay him back for his education? You know, what he, what he paid into to get it? I don't know. It depends on if they funded some of that Trump University crap. Uh, <laughs> these guys really want, uh, you know, they want their uh, diploma back. And I wonder if they're willing to, you know, pay back the, uh, the money that they were given. Uh, a couple of thousand years. dollars in those in those times. Yeah, yeah uh, well, like today. I had a friend that uh, went to Wharton and another one that went to Babson. That yeah, but all, I'm, all I'm saying is, is that you know, this is a guy who said, "Oh, we're gonna we're gonna balance the budget." You know, we're gonna we're gonna you, to begin with. Why is it the only president that ever brought the debt down happened to be Bill Clinton, the Democrat? I thought the Republicans were supposed to be good with money. But they seem, they seem, I mean, I remember Bush spending like a drunken sailor for crying out loud. Instead of embracing the Jews, they want to kill them off instead. Instead of utilizing people for their best functionality, which would be money management Fake or accounting. News, Renee. They want to kill them no. off. <laughs> you know, the only people that sent the Jews away after World War II were Democrats. Uh, it wasn't the Republicans that turned them, that turned them away. It was the Democrats. It was yes. that no, bombed no. Hiroshima, Nagasaki. It was Democrat that uh, that endorsed slavery uh, during the Civil War. Uh, you know, it Isn't was that before Democrat we flipped, though? I mean, that, once, that once we flipped, you can't use that. Wait a minute. It was number, number one, number one, Phil. Phil, 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 Phil. Number one, you can't blame something on the Democrats for something the Democrats 100 years ago did. It was an entirely different yeah. mindset. An entire hold on, an entirely different group of people, and not the kind of Democrats you f you think of today. Uh, you know, by today's standards, I don't think you would find uh, Ch Chuck Schumer going along with slavery. Okay, Who was that you know, ninety-something-year-old yeah. Democrat, I think, <laughs> oh, <poor> Virginia <laughs> or now North Carolina, that was uh, died uh, oh, years ago. Yeah, what's his name? Yeah, 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 I know you're Clinton. talking about. Yeah, uh, who had the who had the uh, had a, a, a daughter KKK. by by a black mistress? Yeah. And and he was a member of the Ku Klux Klan. Right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, what's his name? The Democrat. Do you remember his name, Rob? Do you, you know who we're talking about? Yeah, I could see his face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Irwin, Irvin, no. No. Irwin, no. No, <laughs> no I, I, yeah. um, I can't remember his name, but... Uh, uh, yeah, he's either from North Carolina. He was the longest-serving senator. Uh, <laughs> Hatch? No, 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 no Hatch. it's not Orange Hatch. Uh, uh, Marshall, let's see here. Uh, North the guy who had a, a child Carol. with a black woman, but he was a complete and total fucking racist guy. That guy? Yes. Is Jefferson? No. 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 It, it would be it, one of, it would be, he just died probably about 10 years ago. And at least was, 10. At yeah. least 10. Strom Thurmond. Strom Thurmond. Strom Thurmond. Democrat. And you know, I am New Jersey. He ran as a Dixiecrat, though, in the South. 
Do you know the course. guy in New Jersey, Hernandez, or whatever his name is, that is being brought up on bribery and uh, uh, some sort of uh, – uh, they're, they're trying him uh, uh, for uh, accepting bribes and, and things like that. Democrat. You know, and, and so you guys well, will probably yeah, well, lose uh, another Senate seat. Well, you know, I, uh, Menendez, Menendez, that's his name. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, I mean, look, I'm not saying I've never said the Democrats are great. You know, uh, I, all I've said is people who are leftists are and leftists would not act like some Democrats act, like some liberals act, you know. And uh, it was Phil Oakes who, who said, and I, you know, I, I cherish the quote, and that is, um, uh, uh, liberals are uh, people who are 10 degrees to the left in good times and 10 degrees to the right when it affects them personally. You sure you didn't say liberals are, re uh, are, uh, uh, are people that, uh, the reason they haven't become Republicans is because they haven't been mugged yet? What? <laughs> Yeah, like, liberals, I heard that saying. liberals are Republicans that haven't been mugged. You know, once they become, once they get mugged, they become Republicans. Oh. Yeah. Okay, I guess so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I, that's, that's the story. Yeah. But anyway, you know, I mean, um, uh, you know, your, your assertions of what Democrats are and aren't, you know, we had the hey. Southern Democrats who were the Dixiecrats, and they were racist fucks. You know, hey. it's no more far fetched than the way. And by the way, by the way, the Dixiecrats, I, I want to inform you, no, this, see, Phil. This the Dixiecrats, hold on a thing. second, hold on a second, Phil. The Dixiecrats all became Republicans. No, see, and, and here's here's the issue, and especially the white men. I was reading something the other day where he said the re Democrats don't respect our women. They don't respect them because they voted for Trump. Well, guess what? They're not your fucking women. If you think you own a woman, we don't want to talk to you. So the deal is tr that all of this has got to go. These misogynistic people need to get the hell out of our country and need to stay out of our face. We're sick of this. Women are just sick of this stupid bullshit. So you can put all of them into, into one, one yeah. little thing. All you know women are sick yes. of the wait bullshit. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Tony oh, raised no, his I'm hand. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Tony raised his hand. We don't see Ooh. that that often. I'm not trying. I mean this in the best sense, Alex. I'm not trying to joke around. No, no, wait a minute. You know, here, wait a minute. Uh, Tony, don't yeah. ever make excuses for what you're about to say. I'm you sorry. always okay. do. Oh, I may be wrong. Okay, now, yeah, don't yeah. take me wrong right. on this. No, just say it. Yeah. If I wish I had Renee. I love my mother, but if Renee was my mother, I would have been a better student because she's got a lot of fire. She would have given me a kick in the ass I needed, I think. Yeah. Like, you yeah. know, I like that she's very, like, passionate about it. And if she was your mother, Tony, she would have drowned you. She probably <laughs> Yeah, that too. <laughs> Let me see your homework. I didn't do it. <laughs> you know what, Phil? We can, we yeah. can do this because you, one thing that you do that bothers the shit out of me, and that is when you talk about Jimmy Carter, you talk about George Bush in the same category. And there's no fucking way a war criminal should be measured, should be held up against somebody as wonderful and magnificent as Jimmy Carter is. Now, I, George, Jimmy Carter is a criminal. No, I, he, I, he criminal. sold that America uh, between Iran. And uh, what he did uh, on that on that uh, uh, trying to get our people back? he sent those helicopters in uh, to to to, uh, to yeah, rescue. Yeah, how big we try to rescue uh, When he gave away the Panama Canal, uh, yeah. the guy, and when he told America, you know, during the gas crisis, uh, you know what? Uh, uh, just wear a sweater. That was his answer to uh, to the gas crisis. No, no. His answer was turn down the thermostat and let's go to corn or sugar-based ethanol. And guess what we didn't do? We didn't do that. And guess what South and Central America did? They've been ethanol happy for I don't know how long, but yeah, we didn't do that. Right we did not they're listen to Jimmy Carter. We did not listen to Jimmy Carter. Not. You, know, you, they, you can't oh, tell me this war criminal you can't tell me that a war criminal wanted in the Hague, all right, is is better or comparable to somebody as as. Anybody that's wanted in the Hague is a friend of mine, 
Let oh, me yeah, tell you. I think she was on a hunt. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You just made the stupidest remark I've ever heard, Phil. Do you know most of the people that are? Wait. Most of the people that are 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 put on trial in the Hague are. No, you aren't frozen. You you're far too active. You look fine. Anyway. Now, now I forgot the what I was going to say. Right now, no, the Hague, the Hague, the uh, they put on trial people who uh, hurt, hurt other people. You know, right, well, the Hague and the UN vote against Israel. They vote against the United States. They, uh, they, they have an agenda. Are, are you going to tell me that Israel is one hundred percent wonderful? When, are you going to tell me that Israel is one hundred percent wonderful when it comes to human rights? Uh, a lot more wonderful than, uh, than no, the no, guys no, 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 no. That's not the there. question I asked you, Phil. Yes, yes, they're much better on human rights than the Saudis, than the Iranians. How, uh, how are they treating? Know. How are they treating? Uh, how are they treating it, women? How, how, right. Where Israel? What oh, they yeah. treat women terribly. Israeli, Israeli men are assholes. They, they may were, be assholes. You ask but, any woman who's ever gone out with an Israeli, and they say he's one of the biggest jerks I ever went yeah. out with. But he's not mutilating them. He's not. He's not. Uh, uh, no, but he's still them. treating he's them like shit. You know, you're you're going to the extreme. There's such. You That's know, not the extreme. Uh, you, you know, look at the Iranians and the and the Saudis. They it, stone it, it, women. Yay, you know? a third world country. We're we're equivalating. Uh, equiv the, you're saying that these people are better than That's a third world country. country. Yay! Yeah. What, what the a Iranians, The Iranians are an atomic <laughs> bomb. The Iranians want an atomic bomb. What kind of third world country? You yeah, know, it, just gave them 170 billion dollars so that they can finance, uh, so they can finance uh, terrorism around the world. And, and, and but who'd rather support these people and the people in the Hague and the people in the UN would rather support those people and sanction Israel and sanction yeah, the United who, who, States? Who made you? I think who, uh, whoever said that they are uh, sanctioning uh, some of the. Terrible things that people are doing. The Hague is there to put people on trial who have committed crimes against humanity. Well, George W. Bush didn't commit any crimes against humanity. Oh, yes. oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh. Yeah. Uh, why don't you? Why Do you, you, you want to talk? Thing? Would you like to talk about oh, the uh, uh, hundred thousand yeah. civilians who were killed by George Bush in in uh, in Iraq? There was a war going on. No, wait a minute. There was, Let me tell you, a lot yeah. of those civilians yeah. against the country that did not have anything to do with 9/11, in spite of the fact that the Bush administration uh, made implicit insinuations uh, the that world, uh, they did. The world believed that they were putting together an atomic bomb and, yeah, and yeah, Saddam yeah. Hussein weapons of mass destruction. Not, the world did not believe that. The world did not believe England that. England believed it. France believed yeah. it. Oh, uh, no. The, uh, if the world believed it, why did we only go in Iraq with, uh, quote unquote, the coalition of the willing and not the UN? Because the UN is so anti Israel and anti the United States, they wouldn't support anything the United States wanted to do. No, that's not true in any where way. Where are you getting this? Where, 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 where are you getting you, up? Where are you getting these notions from, okay. Phil? Yeah. So, yeah. So, yeah. We're supposed to let the UN in and to inspect his. What, uh, what John Bircher have you been talking to recently that has been <laughs> planting this garbage in your brain? Well, look, the UN had a resolution, then, and they said that there were supposed to be inspections of Saddam Hussein's uh, weaponry. And he refused to let them in, and Bush told him, You don't let us in. We're coming in. Look, I, I, so let me let me let me give you a little piece of history, Bush, Phil. Let me give Bush you a, let, let me give you a little piece so of history. He invaded a country that. Do you know, had, you know that, the reason why? Do you know the reason? Hold on a second. You know the reason why Saddam Hussein didn't want the UN going in there? Probably because he didn't have any. He didn't want them to know. That's it. correct. He didn't want to make himself vulnerable. As long as he felt the other countries around him, like Iran, felt that he perhaps had weapons of mass destruction. And that's why he kind of almost intimated as much was to keep them at bay without having to have any weapons of mass destruction. How did that work out for him? Well, it didn't work out too well because, uh, you know, and, and how did it work out for us? Not well either because look at what the world is like in that part of the world now because of the way we handled it. Well, right. And, and I mean, uh, your, your boy, your boy, George, your boy, George Bush, in fact, is singularly responsible. He and his 
cronies for creating ISIS You're and for allowing Obama ISIS to happen. ISIS because he yeah. pulled out and left a what, what, did, what did he say? Land. Wait a minute. What did he, what did you say? Well, the Muslim Kevin. Brotherhood and, and, and Obama uh, created ISIS because they allowed in, in no, Iraq. No, no, no. Because Phil, they Phil, Phil, you know, it's Phil, Jones. Phil, just go to any learned documentary about ISIS and how it was created, and you will see it was as a result of us disbanding the Iraqi army and letting them take the guns home with them. You and know? not having an exit strategy when you go in there. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was, that was How about Trump, not having an exit strategy? Trump yeah. at least says he doesn't want a nation built. But look, you know, look, you, you, know you, you take us off the main topic. We're talking about George Bush and his handling of Iraq, which was pathetic. Well, the pathetic. difference between George W. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Let some, let some other people talk, Phil. Right. Yes, Rob, what were you saying? Uh, it was pathetic, and, and you'd have to respect his father for knowing when to get out when he went in. That's to, what I was uh, to Kuwait, right? He didn't take it as far as some of the hawks wanted them to take it and to take out Hussein. So well, he made a mistake. The first Bush. No, he didn't make a mistake. He did not make a mistake. He did not make a mistake. However, however, George, uh, 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 the the, the, the re resulting deaths in in the south of Iraq, as a result of us leaving. Uh, was because we promised that if they revolted, we would right. come to their Which rescue, and then we didn't. Which is yeah. not like what we did in Cuba and not uh, at the Bay of Pigs and a number of other things. Our country doesn't seem to step up to the plate when it's time to no, step up. No, we, we don't have the ability to. No. Yeah, we don't, uh, we don't now, have, you know, we, we can talk a good game, but we really don't have a lot of... Uh, uh, Maybe, uh, but the Israelis, when they, in '67, uh, they were 30 miles from Damascus, and uh, and they and they stopped, and they were asked, you know, why didn't you go into Damascus? They said, well, if we conquer it, what are we going to do with it? And uh, that, unfortunately, that wasn't something that uh, George W. Bush uh, realized that uh, you know that uh, if he conquered it, what's he going to do with it? Right. And um, you know, he had the coalition, he had it put together, but they put the wrong guys in charge. You see, the original guys, the ones you say they gave the guns and let them go home, uh, were being abused by the majority now. They were the minority, and and then the majority... Uh, you're, you're giving me a headache, Phil. Just stop, right. stop, see, stop, stop. How, how in the world did you think... Please explain this... How is it that you missed the whole George Bush helped create ISIS and then you blame Obama? Because it wasn't George Bush that pulled the troops out of Iraq. It was Obama. And Obama allowed a uh, vacuum to take place that allowed the uh, ISIS troops to walk into Iraq and take it over. It was George Bush who bankrupted this country doing that, staying there forever. Yep. Well, yep. We're still there. Yeah, and we're going to continue. We were there the whole time Obama was in charge. How come no, we're, we're not in those numbers? Dump, yeah, we're going to continue to dump money into that pit of a place that people don't want us there in the first place. But we're going to, for many, many more years, thanks to George Bush. And Again, so, he's a war criminal. And 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 the and the movement from Iraq to Afghanistan war was Obama's doing. No! Okay. And Obama was the one that ramped up Afghanistan. He says, I'm going to take all the troops out of Iraq and I'm going to move them over to Afghanistan. And that's, you know, that's what he did. Boy, the revisionist right? history that Mr. Mr. Uh, Meyer. Meyer. <laughs> uh, you know, there's a reason we call it whitewashing. Yeah. Because yeah. obviously... Uh, uh, Kevin, Kevin's been very no, quiet. White Kevin's built. been very quiet tonight. I don't think he's really said anything. Some nights he's very verbose. Tonight he's very quiet. Why are you quiet tonight? Probably Kevin? agrees with me. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kind of enjoying the conversation. <laughs> Did you watch Kevin's eyes? I thought his eyes were going to pop out of his head. And he just tilted up to that side. I thought for sure they were just going to do the wingy. Yeah, that's well, cool. my eyes would do that if this were a Tex Avery cartoon. You know. Yeah, that's what it looked like. And then he went. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Um, 
<laughs> Boy, Phil, you uh, you certainly have some revisionist history. It's wonderful. I don't know where you <laughs> but, get this shit from, but uh, uh, there's somebody, you know, putting some John Birch LSD in your uh, tea. You, you know, know I, I, I don't read the, uh, the filtered news that you guys get. Uh, the, the ones that say... <laughs> I'm sorry. Older. I'm sorry. I don't even watch the news for the most part. I can tell now. You know, you, if you did, you, you'd know that the Republicans didn't uh, create ISIS. It was uh, uh, our see. friend, Mr. Obama. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Jeff, please. Then, please. <laughs> something. A nugget of real information, please. If you do any kind of... If you, if you know anything about troubleshooting... You know that there are there are things that go on, but that that cause certain things. But when you get right down to the root cause, that root cause lands in Mr. W's lap. Mm -hmm. That's the root Absolutely. cause of all this. Crap. Yeah, you have you have to go back. You have to go back to the roots of this, and the roots were the disassembling of the Republican Army in uh, in Iraq and sending them home and uh, jailing some of them, and in the jails in the prison camps. Uh, they made plans that when they got out, what they were going to do, and they did it, and it was called ISIS. Do you remember some of the atrocities of those people? That you know, yeah. how many people they killed? I and remember Kusei, that. And I, re I, I, yeah. I remember that. A hundred, over a hundred thousand men, women, and children were slaughtered because of us. And, and, of and well, wait a minute, so Phil, 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 wait a minute. Shut up a sec, Phil. Shut up a second. Shut up a second. She just said something. Did you hear it? Did you yeah, hear she it? Said, she said they slaughtered a hundred thousand people, but let me tell you something. No, no, no don't say that. That don't just pass that off and say, well, but you know, Hussein killed more. Right. Yeah. No, I, I don't care what Hussein did. I care about what we did in my name. Uh, I'm not so sure that the Americans were the ones that killed the hundred thousand. These people were fighting, uh, and uh, but these they, civilians were fighting. I'm sure there we're was talking some about civilians. civilians. We're not talking. We're, we're not talking about military people. We're talking about civilians. Yeah. You're talking yeah. About and how many of them? You can't tell the difference know. between the civilians and the fighters over there. You know, uh, most of them. You know, they, oh, they gee. Now you're off. really, you know, you're, 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 you're just living in La La Land, Phil. Thank you. Well, yeah. You know, it's not unlike uh, Democrats to try no, to no, write. Oh, oh. <laughs> Rewrite history. To begin with, I'm you know I'm not a Democrat. No, no, you're a, a socialist. No, no, I'm an I'm registered as an independent. Well, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. I'm not well, I'm, I'm not a Democrat. I, I quit being a Democrat I years ago because I didn't like the idea of being a Democrat. Yep. You know, I didn't like what Democrats were. Well, we finally have a full house with Tim. Hello, Tim. Hello, Tim. <laughs> Good evening. I I had connectivity issues tonight, so yeah, I heard it in the last ten minutes. I, I did too. Yeah, didn't it, didn't it make your did it make your uh, eyes bleed? No, but it's probably having to do with I think uh, the Russians have been listening in and they're messing up your Facebook feed. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you know they admitted to uh, taking money from the Russians now. Okay, Facebook. so hold on a second. I want to go on. I want to go on record saying that it's President Putin that we should be worried about, and not President Trump. But go ahead. I, I just have one thing. One question for Phil, real quick. Yeah. Um, two questions. One, why didn't we take Saddam Hussein in front of a war crimes trial? The reason we didn't is we would have Bush would be there also because we literally buried people alive. Burned people alive on the front he, lines. He was and even the soldiers in Iraq were civilians because if they didn't fight, their families got killed. Yeah, but we did. Uh, they he was taken before uh, a, a judge and counsel, and he was hung. Uh, they found him no. in a hole uh, in Fallujah, I think. Uh, they they found him in a hole that he that he dug and full of mud. And then when they cleaned him up, they took him back to. Uh, uh, the, you know, to be tried by his peers, and he was tried, and he was hung. And well, well, uh, so I, I'm, I'm on board with Alex. W Americans are not, we're not supposed to be barbaric, but what we did was more barbaric even than some of the stuff ISIS did, because we remotely push buttons and into lives and maim tens of thousands of people. So you'd rather Americans be over there on the ground and get maimed? No, as I would. Well? I would rather 
we, we found a diplomatic solution and we not kill innocent civilians. You think but there's a diplomatic out, solution in Iraq? Well, there could have been because they had nothing to do with 9-11 and we could have put pressure on it. It's just like we can't push a button and kill a bunch of people in the Korean Peninsula on both yeah. sides. Okay, so what was your second question? The, the, well, the, the second question is a is a barbary. Well, it's actually asked both questions: the war criminal trials, of uh, Bush and uh, and uh, I think Mike and, and the, bar, the barbarism that we or, that we as Americans look what we what, did in Vietnam. What country is it that uh, that uh, Cheney can't go to? Like it's uh, Germany. Germany. Yeah. I think it's Germany. I'm not 100 percent sure, but because, why is that? I, I think because he was accused of war crimes. He Back stole the silverware at, Andrew, at Merkel's uh, house. Uh, he was invited over for Andrew. dinner. See, that's, that's what Phil does. He tells a joke to try and veer us off of discussing something. Well, it's that such may a bullshit thing. Come on. Uh, uh, he's a war criminal. Cheney especially. Cheney, Cheney maneuvered our country to, to, uh, to protect us of, in the best way he could. To the brink of disaster. Yeah, he so was protecting I, the profits of Halliburton, is what he was doing. Uh, that's, so, that's why Trump is so quick so to far, sell so uh, far. increased arms to South Korea and Japan because it makes money for the by military the, by the way, by the complex by, who donate yeah, money to the campaign. Yeah. By the way, who uh, who's who's the actor that starred in Batman? Uh, what was his name? Uh, Adam West. No, the, no. Uh, the uh, latest one. Pickett. Huh. Uh, Tony, you, he, he should know this. Christian Bale? Yeah. What? Christian Bale? The yeah, Christian maker? Bale. There's a, there was a picture today of Christian Bale. He's put on about 50 pounds. Uh, he looks fat. Okay? And he's why is he doing it? Uh, he, Bush? He's, no, he's playing uh, Dick Cheney. They're doing oh, a movie about Dick really? Cheney, and he's cool. playing Dick <clears throat> Cheney. Oh, my God. And sure, it, you're not he, confusing him with Val Kilmer. No, no, he looks nothing like Christian Bale. I mean, he, he just the face is round and and so on. And he'll, you know, he's lost weight. He's bulked up for like Batman, and he'll, he's now he's getting fat for Cheney. And the act, some actors do this, you know. You know what else he's doing, Alex? What? He's he's not taking skeet shooting safety lessons. Yeah, right. <laughs> well. I, I I could have acting. Him. Yeah. I, I play Cheney. I, I got the look. You got the look? Yeah. yeah you, you certainly got the uh, attitude. That's for damn sure. Wait, hold on a second. Everybody, <laughs> right? Huh? Can you do that better than me? Is I'm not a Cheney yeah. yeah. move? Yeah. Hey, listen, uh, that's about it for tonight. That's. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. I got to kill some audio uh, I, here. Uh, it's going to be a fill free Friday. Oh. Is it? Yeah. Oh. There's some sound coming in from somewhere, and I can't figure out where it's coming in from. Uh, uh, here. Hey, Phil, they're going to need a lot of carpeting in Florida soon. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. 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 You know, it's unfortunate. A lot of the times they just get ceramic tile. And that, you know. Uh, Can we take a vote and ask how many people think that Russia or China is behind these? Okay. okay. Hey, listen. I we gotta go. We gotta go here. I'm sure uh, they th are. Thank you, Phil. Thank you, Brian. Not thank not. you, Rob. Thank you, Renee. Thank you, Tim. Thank you, uh, and Mike. Uh, thank you, Kevin. Thank you, Jeff Stein, and uh, the one th wonderful Anthony Magno. Everybody, wave uh, a, a, a bye bye to everybody, and uh, tell them we'll see them tomorrow. Bye bye. Thanks for joining us. Anyway, Bye. Tuesday, uh, wait a minute, you're not here, well, I guess he's not here for tomorrow's two Tomorrow's Thursday, not Tomorrow's Friday. Thursday. Well, he's not ready to, yeah, tomorrow's Thursday, he's got it all wrong. Anyway, uh, that's it, that's about all she wrote for now. Uh, I'm Alex Bennett, uh, we will uh, be back here uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, but in the meantime, stay tuned for Jack and Amy, they're next. And then there's connections at one o'clock in the morning, Eastern Daylight Time. A show we have, we really have nothing to do with. They, they just put it on here, and we, they're nice people, so we do it for them. Anyway, stay tuned for Jack and Amy. I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>